Do you believe foreign interference has been influencing elections in Canada? No, I don't think so. No. Like the whole thing going on right now about China? No, I don't think so. Um, I, again, it's complicated, I'm sure. And maybe I don't know enough about it, but I don't think that it's uh, influencing our elections. No. Um, I think it's like where you look, like where you look from. I feel like um, some people can phrase it like, oh, it's such a big problem, etc. But like, it's just we don't have enough proof or we, we're not shown enough proof um, to like make a decision about it. 100%. Because anyone who is a card carrying member of the Chinese Communist Party should be automatically banned from being a, a member of Parliament in Canada. In fact, I think they should introduce a law that says if you want to be a member of Parliament of Canada, you must renounce all foreign citizenships. It's the same reason that in America, they have a constitutional amendment that says to be the American president, you must be born in America. That rule was designed to stop the British from sending someone back to America to be like, oh, let's become part of England again. Why don't we have that rule here? There are signs of it. Uh, certain diaspora are facing some pressure. I have no doubt about that. Um, whether it has had an impact on the results of the election, I'm very unsure of that. I do not believe that to be the case. Um, but in terms of influence, I believe there is, and I don't think that China is the only guilty of that. We have prob probably allies that, that do the same thing because everyone has their own agenda. So whether it's more overt or covert, there is always influence. Whether it's a foreign leader talking about Canadian politics, or something that is more covert, covert of like uh, uh, intelligence services trying to influence elections, uh, there is always influence, but that's the beauty of a democracy. Um, the results might not be that much affected by it. Do you have any thoughts on that at all? Yeah, I would agree. I think that um, there's no question that other governments are you know, looking into what's going on. There's always, I think, backroom conversations, whether or not it's impacted the results. Similar, I don't know that that's really necessarily been the case, but I have no doubt that there's been efforts to uh, to try and interfere. I sure hope it hasn't, but I don't know for sure. <clears throat> I've read it all and uh, trying to sift through what's true and what's not, but uh, I, I just hope it's not. Oh, absolutely. This is a serious problem that we need to be considering. You know, uh, we see it all the time from different countries around and sometimes it's it's good influence and in that we should be working together with our allies. Uh, but sometimes those, uh, you know, other interferences are not uh, to the best interest of Canadians. Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, my my problem with the whole situation has been our Canadian government's response. I feel like there's been a public pressure pushing the prime minister to respond. But in, in the fact that we should have been responding and being more proactive on the issue several weeks or months ago when the issue was better known. I mean, it's impossible to know. I, I, I suspect not. I think there may have been various attempts, but that it actually changed the vote or anything. I think probably not. I think, yeah, I think that's just uh, thanks is just how things are these days. I mean, there's uh, multimedia can influence so much and social media and and I think these uh, foreign governments are taking advantage to make sure the right government is sitting across the table from them. And, uh, and that's probably liberals in gen general sense. I don't know for sure, but that's definitely something that somebody needs to figure out, right? I mean, anytime you hear allegations about that, and from what I've read, they seem pretty serious. Um, yeah, somebody needs to put an effort to actually sort it out, but... I don't really know if uh, the steps the government is taking are really, if they're just um, putting on a face, just going through the actions, or whether they're trying to figure it out. Because from from what I've heard, they just might have benefited from it a little bit. You know, I'm just finding that out that, um, you know, particularly hearing the news about China, um, but people are trying to reassure us that it never had any outcome on the election, but I'm a suspicious person in those kinds of things. Yeah, I think it has been. I believe they try, but I do have tr trust in our, uh, in Elections Canada and the, the way they handle things. But of course, there are uh, 
other parties who are going to try and influence it. I don't believe it, it, it affects the outcome, personally. Um, just from you know, just from years of voting and and being part of it, uh, and with having conversations with friends and colleagues, I I I don't think none of us are concerned about it. Mm -hmm.